Not yet. Oh, no. One more. All right. So we have the sine of x divided by 2. This one's going to be in uh, the homework uh, quiz, so it's a good one. So we have the sine of x divided by 2 plus the cosine of x minus 1. And what they want us to do is they want us to solve, right? So when looking into solving, remember, we either isolate our variable or use factoring. We have a problem because we don't have common terms. And nor it's going to be kind of difficult for us to be looking into trying to factor these with the terms that they're at. However, I do notice that I have a sine of x divided by 2, right? Yes. And I have a formula for that, right? So we can rewrite this then as plus or minus the square root of 1 plus cosine of x divided by 2. Anybody want to confirm my formula with me? Plus cosine of x minus 1 equals 0. Are we good? The formulas? I guess I'm so. That's what I was asking. Are you going to confirm? Yeah. Okay. Minus. Okay. So I just want to make sure. All right. So we have plus or minus the square root of 1 minus cosine of x divided by 2 plus cosine of x minus 1. So now what do we do? Now you just throw in a square root. Now it looks like it's a little more difficult. Well, let me go back. Let me just kind of do something on like a sidebar. Okay? If I said the square root of x plus 1 equals 3, and I said solve this, what would be the first thing you're going to do? You're going to minus 1. Why can't I just square both sides right now and get rid of the square root? Because you can't square both sides because if you, if you square this, well, you're not just square, getting rid of the square root, but this is a binomial squared, so you're going to have to do FOIL and all that kind of crazy stuff. When, what you want to do is when we're undoing the square root, you have to isolate your square root. You have to get the square root by itself. Now you can square both sides. All right. So here, I don't want to square to get rid of this yet because I've got to get this stuff to the other side. Right? If you look to squaring this side, you have, a tr you have a trinomial now that you have to foil. And that's going to be way too much work that I want to deal with right now. So what I would do is I'd add 1 to both sides, and I'd subtract cosine of x on both sides. Now I have plus or minus the square root of 1 minus cosine of x divided by 2 equals 1 minus cosine of x. Now I square. Now, I still have a binomial squared, but you're just not going to be able to get rid of it. But the cool thing is I get rid of now my square root, which is 1 minus cosine of x divided by 2 equals, this is a binomial squared, so you should have 1 minus 2 cosine of x um, plus cosine squared of x. All right? That's just a lot of practice of foiling, getting that through. Um, now what we have is we have a 2 on the bottom. Let's get rid of this 2, right? So we multiply by 2 on both sides. Remember, you've got to apply your distributive property. Well, here we don't need to apply distributive property because those 2's are inverse operations. So they're going to multiply to 1. But here, I've got to make sure I multiply this 2 times everything. Now leaving me with a negative cosine of x equals 2 minus 4 cosine of x plus 2 cosine squared of x. I'm sorry? On the other side, shouldn't it be 1 minus cosine Oh, it should be 1 minus, yes. Yes, thank you. I missed that. So it's 1 minus cosine of x. So now, let's get everything to the same side. So let's subtract the 1 on both sides, and let's add a cosine of x. So whew, therefore, now what I'm going to have, I'll write this kind of over here, is I'll have a 2 cosine squared of x minus 3 cosine of x plus 1. Okay, So now we've got to go and factor this. Oh, I'm sorry, equals 0. So now we've got to say, well, how can I solve for x? Well, I can't solve it by using inverse operations. I'm going to have to use factoring. So you've got to factor this to two different binomials. That equals 0. Well, I know that my two terms have to multiply to give me 1, but then they're going to add to give me negative 3. My first two terms. Have to multiply to give me, sorry, have to multiply to give me 2 cosine squared minus 1 minus 1. Therefore, I have 2 cosine of x minus 1 equals 0, and I have cosine of x minus 1 equals 0. Then I get cosine of x equals positive 1 half 
cosine of x equals 1. Now, for this problem, it does say find the, find the answer on the interval of 0 to 2 pi. So I say, when does cosine of x equal 1 half? That's going to be at pi over 3 and 2 pi over 3. Cosine of x equals 1 at x equals pi. Sorry, I went through that kind of quickly, but obviously the bell rang, so we got it done. Right? I have my 